Hi, I'm Mike Adams, Group Manager for vSphere. Wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about some of the new things we have coming out in the vSphere 5 related to the overall cloud infrastructure and management launch. The first thing we look at when we're think talking about vSphere 5 is how it relates to some of the overlying pillars or uh, kind of high-level themes that we have about this particular product release. And one of those is running business critical applications with confidence. Now, when you look at the vSphere 5 platform, there are really kind of two angles that make that uh, come to life within the product. The first being that for virtual machines now, we're going to actually up the ante when it comes to how big you can make a virtual machine by a factor of about four. And with those types of limits and scalability capabilities, it's important for us to continue to show customers how applications of any size can now fit into a virtual machine and run very, very effectively. So the ability now to have these larger, or what we sometimes refer to as monster VMs, uh, becomes pretty critical as customers continue to virtualize more and more business critical applications. And while scale and performance is good, the other side of the coin is we need to make sure that we continue to introduce new availability constructs that help our customers. And so what we've done is we've uh, enhanced our HA technology, known as high availability, and are now uh, allowing that to become more scalable uh, than ever before, allowing you to have better guarantees on HA clusters, therefore allowing you to uh, better protect uh, applications, and then also be more simplified than ever before. So in the past, when it could take us a lot longer to either modify modify or create a new uh, HA cluster, now it'll take us uh, a very short or fraction of the time uh, that it took uh, in the past. So that's one as aspect, but if you also look at another uh, aspect of the launch, we talk a lot about being able to respond to businesses faster. And when you look inside the vSphere elements, there's a couple of different technologies that we have that we've kind of built under this framework of intelligent policy management. The first thing we look at doing is how can we help our customers deploy vSphere 5 in a more expedited fashion. And so our new technology known as Auto Deploy should help folks uh, increase their speed uh, by a factor of uh, three times. So that now we're able to go ahead and burst out to support a new application or burst out to support some type of cloud application uh, very, very quickly with the vSphere uh, Auto Deploy technology. In addition to that, auto-deploy not only represents an ability for us to deploy more quickly, but also to patch, which is really more of the um, consistent day-to-day -day things that an uh, administrator may do. So being able to patch those systems very easily, and not only patch just one, but actually being able to patch and update more than one uh, at a point in time uh, is something that's very, very important to us and should help us uh, as customers continue to add more automation into their environment. In addition to that, we're looking at two major storage features that are part of this launch, uh, one which I think is the real crux of the launch, and the other is uh, not far behind that. The first being storage DRS. Uh, many of you know DRS very, very well around its load balancing capabilities and how it's helped our customers achieve levels of automation and uh, get a lot of value out of the core of vSphere 5 or vSphere platform. With vSphere 5, now we have the ability to take storage elements to go ahead and evaluate where's the best place to place our VM's uh, storage, and then also what's the best way to move things around uh, should things change. Should we have uh, space concerns? Should we have IO load balancing concerns? Should we have rules that we need to put in place? We can use storage DRS to help with all those features uh, in addition to uh, being able to look at uh, how we group things together to make them more manageable. So storage DRS really for me when I look at the overall release is one of those quintessential elements that all uh, of our customers are going to need and all of our new prospects are going to be excited about as well. In addition to that we have something called profile driven storage. Profile driven storage will allow us to now put different uh, service level type characteristics into vSphere and allow uh, administrators to pick based on those types of characteristics. So if I were to pick, let's say, a high performance uh, need for a particular VM, I'd have vSphere link with all the high performance resources that I had within the environment. In previous versions, it was sometimes difficult for our customers to go ahead and align a different service level with the uh, back end infrastructure that they had. And now we're making that uh, so much easier uh, with this particular release. So uh, those represent kind of the major elements that we look to uh, for vSphere 5. Make sure to talk about them when you get into uh, talking about scale and performance with the larger VMs, talk about availability with HA, talk about the auto-deploy capability uh, when it comes to deploying more hosts, and then talk about the two new storage features, storage DRS, as well as profile-driven storage. And that should set a very good framework uh, for how you introduce vSphere 5 to your customer base. And also make sure you read all the materials that we produce, particularly things like the what new documents that give a good kind of high-level summary as to what's in vSphere 5. One thing also to uh, 
just remind folks about is definitely important to listen to Alberto's tape session on uh, some of the changes we made to pricing and packaging uh, because obviously those will be very important as you consider uh, how you're going to sell. Uh, so on behalf of the entire vSphere team and the vSphere product marketing team, I wish you the best of luck in selling and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks very much. <laughs>